what's happening so you might see my last video in the intro we did on March farms where we use the GTA map this was inspired by Andreas Hem which is one of my favorite youtubers he's amazing at creating videos make sure you check him out and if you haven't done so make sure you subscribe to my channel because at the end of this video I'm gonna be giving something away just as an appreciation to everybody who subscribes to my channel and watches my videos okay so before you start you're gonna need four screenshots of a map Use one zoom for the first scene, make sure you use one zoomed in and one zoomed out. For the second scene, use one zoomed in and one zoomed out. Then make sure you grab a picture of a plane, make sure it's in P PNG format, and then make sure you grab just a picture of clouds, whether it's a picture or a video. All right, let's get to it. Okay, drop all your screenshots in your After Effects project. Click on File, Import and drop them in there. Make a new composition that's about 10 seconds long. Click on composition, new composition, name your composition, change this to 10 seconds, hit OK. Drag two of your screenshots onto the timeline. Um, the one that's zoomed in close should be, should be on top. Now we will scale them so they fit each other. This will help the quality when we zoom in. Hit T to lower your opacity so that you could see what you're doing and you can match the shots correctly. Now let's create a null layer to link these objects. Click on layer, new, null object. Select the two layers. Okay, so now we use a spend tool to connect these to the null object. Now we're able to control both maps. Drag your next shot and repeat the steps from the first one. Okay, so now we dragged our second shot, our zoomed out shot, and we're gonna repeat the steps Let's take our second zoom shot and go to null object, click the null object and let's scale this down. We're gonna adjust the position so we can match these two maps together. Let's decrease the opacity. Just move the bottom layer to the top so I can see where I'm matching these. Let's scale this up a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And it looks like, so that matches pretty well. Now let's pin that to the null object we can move it back down here and the final one we're going to bring down the zoomed in let's decrease the opacity on that click that off for one second and let's go to the null object and let's scale this up here which looks like something around here scale this up a little okay so that looks about right now we're going to take that and Link it to the null object. Okay, so now we have a null object that we basically could scale up and down and we won't lose any quality of the image. The next step we want to do 
Okay, so the next step we want to do is we want to add our text onto this right here. Okay, so we're going to go to text and add a new text layer. Now we are going to change that to overlay and let's uh, scale this down a little. Now let's take our little pin tool and link that to the null object. We can scale our null object and everything is pinned to that object. Let's duplicate that. Scroll down to our park scene. Now let's take that and change that to Take our park layer, scale that down. Move it to the right position. And we are going to attach that to the no layer as well. Now select all your layers and click the 3D, make everything all 3D. Now let's click layer, camera, and create a new camera. Select P on your camera to bring up the position. Select your no layer. Let's find the center where we want it to zoom out. Select the no layer. We'll hit position to create a position point there. All right, now select your camera. Hit P for position. Scroll to about one minute and add a keyframe. Want this to be our center. So let's. No position right here. Now go to the camera, scroll to about one second, and add a position. Now let's scroll about another second away. And click on the position by dragging the map outwards. Now let's move the camera position. All right, so now we're going to drag about two seconds away and we're going to zoom out just a little bit more. Click on your no layer and also add a position. Now we're going to move it over about another minute. And we want to move the map to the new location. So take the null object, scroll the position. Now let's add a new keyframe for the position for the camera. Let's scroll forward. And now we want to drag the camera way down. Let's adjust this position a little bit as well. And make sure you have a camera key keyframe as well there.
Now we should have a smooth animation. Now let's, let's highlight these, right click, and click on Easy Ease to Easy Ease them. This will help smoothing them out and make them flow better. Okay, so now let's select our clouds and drag that to the timeline. We're gonna go to our effects browser and click on key and drag our key light into that. Select our color so that we remove the blue from the background of the clouds. Now let's select this to make it a 3D object. Okay, so now that we dropped our clouds into our timeline, we want to scale this. And we want to play around with this so that it looks good. Okay, so now we want to link this to the null object as well. we'll take our pin tool and link into the null object. What we want to do though is make sure that the clouds are also hitting when we go to the arc scene. So we're going to adjust this. Okay, that looks good. So let's add a Add a keyframe for the scale and the position. Let's go back to our first scene. Okay, so now that I adjusted everything um, the way I want it. Basically, I have all the clouds that are working the way I want, the zoom-ins and everything. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, add a little motion blur. So I'm going to select all the objects and I'm going to click on here to add some motion blur. Now if we play this back, you'll see we have a little animation going. So now our last step is we want to add a plane. So let's go to the beginning when it zooms out. Okay, let's select our, our plane, bring it down here. We're going to adjust the size of this. So what we'll do is we'll come right about around here and we will move this plane out of the scene. We're going to add a position and then we're going to move forward right to about there and we are going to Stretch this out to about there. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks like maybe it's too fast. Let's see. So we could slow this down by stretching this out. Okay, 
you think that looks cool we'll just select these and easy ease those as well Okay, so we pretty much have our animation all put together now. Now all we have to do is really put it into our video editor, add some sound design, and we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now that we brought it to our timeline, what we did here was we, um, we hit Control B to split the clip right about here, and we slowed it down from the first half so that it slows down and it picks up towards the end. Um, next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to add a color grade to it. We're going to use a teal and orange. <clears throat> and we're going to give it this that, that effect so it uh, looks a little bit more green and get rid of that other color that we had. Uh, now that we did, we put our color effect in there. We added all our sound effects. We got a couple wishes. Um, some air that blows out and the wind is passing by as long with the clean. Um, so now let's let's check this let's check this out and see what it sounds like with all these elements added in. I'm never for the weekend. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. And now for those of you who subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be giving away some vacation certificates. I'll leave a link in the description that will take you right to my website that will explain what it's all about. If you want to see how I created a sky replacement in my behind the scenes footage of March Farms, I'll leave a link in that description as well. I'll see you guys in my next video.